a quick afternoon snack, or breakfast on the go. Overnight oats have saved me from my hangry side more times than I can count. And I'm so excited because today I'm sharing with you this simple recipe, as well as five different flavor variations that you can try. But as always, feel free to get creative and use whatever combination of ingredients you happen to have on hand. To start, I wanna talk about the oats real quick. Whole rolled oats, also called old fashioned oats, are the best type to use. They'll soak up a lot of the liquid while still holding their shape. If you're gluten intolerant or even celiac, do make sure you look for a certified gluten-free oat brand such as Bob's Red Mill. Next, you'll wanna grab a jar that's at least eight ounces. Any smaller than this and you won't be able to fit all of the ingredients. The recipe we're making is for one serving. If you're making more, feel free to double, triple, or even quadruple the ingredient amount and grab a few extra jars. I'm gonna show you five different flavors that you can try, but the basic recipe for making overnight oats is pretty simple. You just need half a cup of old-fashioned oats, half a cup of milk, either regular oat, soy, or another nut-based alternative can be used, two tablespoons of your preferred sweetener, honey, pure maple syrup, and agave nectar can all be used, one teaspoon of chia seeds. This is optional and can be left out if you'd prefer and then whatever flavorful additions you want to try. You can use everything from fresh or frozen berries, bananas, and other fruits, to nut butter, spices, and even pumpkin puree. For all of these recipes, we'll start by placing the additions into the bottom of the jar. So add 1 3rd cup of blueberries to the first jar, 1 3rd cup of hulled and diced strawberries to the second jar, 1 3rd cup of diced apple, and 1 4th teaspoon of cinnamon to the third jar, two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, and one fourth teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice to the fourth jar, and two tablespoons of peanut butter and half of a banana that has been cut into slices into the fifth jar. You don't have to do this, but I find that I like the consistency of the berry and the apple oats even better if I soften the fruit a bit first. To do this, simply pop the jar into the microwave and heat on high for 30 to 60 seconds or until the fruit becomes tender and the berries begin to burst. Give them all a good stir. To each jar, you'll then wanna add half a cup of rolled oats and one teaspoon of chia seeds. Pour in half a cup of milk into each jar and then add two tablespoons of sweetener. You can always use less if you don't want them too sweet. Give the oats and milk a good stir, keeping the flavor additions at the base as untouched as you can. Cover the jars with a lid and refrigerate for at least four hours or up to overnight. When you're ready to serve, finish each one with more of their toppings. Some blueberries, strawberries, diced apple, pumpkin puree and spice, and some peanut butter and bananas. Overnight oats will keep in the refrigerator for up to three to four days. However, their texture is best when enjoyed during the first 24 to 48 hours. After this time, they'll start to get a bit gummy. You can always add in a little extra milk to thin them out if this happens. Also, I know a lot of you are going to be asking, can I eat these warm? Yes, you absolutely can. You'll just wanna add a few extra tablespoons of milk into the jar before you pop these into the microwave. Okay, now the real question, which one of these do I dig into first? Mmm, mmm. Guys, I think I'm gonna be here for a little bit. <laughs> but I can't wait to hear what you think, so be sure to let me know which one of these is your favorite. Also, if you need a few more quick breakfast and snack ideas for on the go, you have got to check out these chia seed puddings right over here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next one.